Halloween cupcakes because I'm in the Halloween baking kind of mood and I thought I would show you guys how to make them. First of all, you've got to make sure that you've preheated the oven. I've just popped mine on now. Make sure it's in 180 degrees. And then you also want to make sure that you've washed your lovely fingers. And then you can get ready for baking. Let's get started. Two to three tablespoons of milk. I've got 200 grams of butter, 200 grams of flour, and 200 grams of sugar. I've also got two eggs and vanilla sugar. Um, you can use a vanilla essence, but I didn't have any, I only had vanilla sugar. But vanilla sugar does exactly the same thing as vanilla essence, only it's in a sugar form. And I also have some baking powder, which I have a little note to remind myself to sip into the flour, because I do always forget to do that. I also have a plain mixing bowl, a silicone spatula, and a little tablespoon ready for the baking powder. So once you've got all your ingredients, you're going to take your mixing bowl and you're just going to add your butter. Like that. Then you're just going to also add your sugar just, and you're going to beat that until it has pretty much created a sugary, buttery mess. sugar kind of looks like this you're going to want to add the flour just to obviously make it a lot more thicker and you want to kind of make sure you've sieved the flour already so I'm just going to take my sieve and put my flour into a separate bowl this is kind of also the time when you want to add your baking powder so taking a teaspoon I'm just going to add this to the flour Obviously the baking powder helps your cakes to rise and we want lovely risen cakes. I'm not going to show you guys me sitting the whole of the flour because that's probably going to bore you. So once I sit the flour, I'll show you guys what to do next going to place this into the mix like this. Now I don't want to add it all at once just because it would take harder for it to mix. So I'm just going to place a little bit at a time and I'm just going to slowly mix it. Now don't worry if you get a like flower cloud or anything like that, that doesn't matter. So I'm just going to keep doing this and we're trying to kind of get in that doughy like cake mixture feeling which is what we want and then I'm also just going to add a little bit of milk as I add the flour. So it gives that liquidy contact so that the, the flour still sticks to the mixture. I'm just going to add a little bit more flour. Just add it all in actually, and then I'm just going to add the rest of the milk in like so. Once I've done that, and then just going to go and mix it. So, not the only one that gets a flour cloud. Make sure you don't add too much because otherwise that happens, and then when that happens, it's not very good. So just want to keep mixing it. Gotta get your elbow grease out. And I also, as I'm doing this, I'm going to add the vanilla sugar. Now, as I was saying before, the vanilla sugar does look like that. Now, you can add vanilla essence, and I do know when you look at a lot of cake mixtures or cake recipes, they do tell you to add cake, uh, vanilla essence, sorry, instead of vanilla sugar. I don't have any vanilla essence, so I'm just adding a 
a little bit of vanilla sugar but if you do have vanilla essence I do recommend using that um, but this is kind of the second best alternative I don't know how this works oh, there we go. so I'm just going to add a good tablespoon of that and another tablespoon as well this is just to kind of make them vanilla -y, um, and not just like plain cake of course you don't have to to make them vanilla you can make them any mixture or any flavour that you want but I do think that vanilla cupcakes are the fit my favourite. This is looking really yummy. Now I haven't actually like, I do like baking cakes but every cake that I make I never seem to get this consistency so, so far so good. So once I've mixed all this flour in which I pretty much nearly have I'm pretty much ready to pop them in the bowl. Mm. Um, however, I'm going to pause a little bit and just tidy up my workspace because it is a bit of a mess. And um, I'm excited to show you what I've got. Now I'm going to pop the cakes in and also with the decorations. So I'm going to pause this video, tidy up, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've now tidied up and this mixture is looking so good. Now, because I'm doing Halloween cupcakes, I of course mm, need to have some Halloween cupcake cases. I think I actually got these from Home Baggins and they were something like 50p and they are so cute and they just say trick or treat if the camera focuses. Um, and you've got like little ones and you've got big ones. So I'm going to obviously use these ones and I'm just going to pop them into the cake tin like so. I'll just pop this over here. Now I don't know if I'm going to like have excess over so if I do I may make a bigger cake with it and kind of have like cupcakes on the cake. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to pop them or spoon them into each of the cake tins. Now because I feel like I'm going to have loads over, I'm kind of going to go for a lot in the cake. This is like so. I do like baking cakes. Um, I was just in one of their moods where I thought, let's bake some cakes. And of course it's Halloween, so they have to be Halloween filmed. Otherwise, what's the point of doing cakes? This mixture feels and looks so good. Of course, I will pop down all the measurements in the description below if you guys do want to try out these cakes yourself. Um, I'll also tell you where I get all the di dire directions, di directions, decorations from um, once I obviously show you them. And I am so excited about decorating these cakes because I had a little bit of a field day because I really wanted to bake some cakes but I really wanted to make them Halloween filmed and I just couldn't find anywhere Halloween film themed decorations and they were all just like sweets like eyeball sweets and stuff and I didn't really want that I wanted proper cake decorations and also it's really hard to find orange food colouring to make buttercream but then I had a bit of a field day when I saw what I saw I think I've got enough to make 12 cupcakes. Oh, yay! And now it's not real. Like so, so you just want to spoon them all in. Make sure you get a good dollop in each. There's no point wasting them. Oh, I'm warming this jumper under these lights.
Sorry if I keep looking out the window, by the way. The window cleaner is doing someone's window and he keeps looking to see what I'm doing in here. Probably thinks I'm having some sort of party. There we go. So, what cooling track, rack track, rack, they've been on the cooling rack for around about 10 minutes now, just so that when I place the buttercream on, it's obviously not going to melt it. It didn't turn out the best, as in, like, quality control, as we would say in food tech. Um, some of them did get stick together. I did think I put a little bit too much cake mixture in. But I'm not going to lie to you, I had a little nibble and they taste so good. So, decoration-wise, I have a green and orange frosted, which I got from Aldi. And as well from Aldi, I also got these sprinkles. And they all have, like, little Halloween type things on them and then I also got these like little sugar based um, sweets that you place on the top and they're all Halloween based so I'm super excited to try these out. I've also placed you a little bit high to turn out very well so I'm now using a knife taking my ghoulish green frosting which I got from Aldi I'm going to try and use a knife this time just knife a lot of this on like this. Take my cake and I'm just going to try and slowly like this. Now I don't want to put too much pressure onto the cake because I don't want to what have, have happened to the other one and basically I lost the top of the cake. So like this. Now it doesn't have to necessarily be a smooth colouring because it is Halloween-ish. It is ghoulish and all that type of stuff and I'm kind of going to layer this on um, just to kind of hide how bad the cake is <laughs> like so and so this kind of gives a really ghoulish witchy type of um, feel to it so once I've done that I'm going to do them all I'm going to do them alternatively and um, I'm just going to get another knife and now I'm going to do an orange one so I'll show you what an orange frosting looks like. This one feels a little bit different to the green one. I feel like this one may work a little bit better. So taking it like this, I'm going to like smooth this around the edges like so. Now I'm trying to get pretty much the majority of the cake. It's probably going to take me a while. Um, so I won't do all of them on camera for you guys. I'll show you what the green and what the orange one looks like then I'll frost the rest for you guys and then I'll show you how I'm going to decorate mine like so. I think these are a really good idea for parties if any of you, anyone is having a Halloween party and you want to kind of add a little bit of fun to your cake instead of just getting normal boring cakes. See that looks really good. Instead of getting normal boring cakes why not go for some ghoulish Halloween cakes. So I'm going to do the rest now and I'm going to alternate it between orange and green and then I'll show you what they look like and then we'll put the fun decorations on. Okay so as you can see they are all now frosted. I went for an edgy kind of frost because with it being Halloween I want to kind of make it a little bit edgy and a little bit unsure because of course that's what Halloween is all about. I'm now I'm just going to do a lot of sprinkles all over them and then I'm going to add the fun part so I think, first of all, I'm going to use these green ones, and I'm just going to place some of these on the orange ones, like so. And then I'm going to take some, which is, I'm just going to kind of use all different ones over each of the cakes. So they've all got a variety. I'm just going to move like this. Don't worry, I did wash my hands after I frosted them just because I had frosting all over my hands so I do have clean hands kind of want to leave a little bit of a hole ready for when I pop my other ones in I really do like these green sparkly cake things. They really are my favourite. Just 
So there we go. Once I have sprinkled them and made a mess all over the kitchen top, should look something like that. And then just going to use these little decorations. Now I can't remember what you actually call these and they don't have a name on them, they're just called Nine Halloween Fun. But as you can see we've got brains, we've got fingers, we've got eyeballs, we've got skulls, witches, pumpkins, all that type of stuff. So I think I'm going to put a couple on each um, cake instead of just putting one or two because I've only got ten cakes as I had a little bit of an accident with two of the cakes and they didn't want to get iced. Um, so I'm just going to kind of pop them in the middle. I think I'm going to go for a sort of body seam, maybe put a finger like that as if it's coming through the cake and then I'm also going to take an eyeball as well and put the eyeball, anyway, if I take the brain off, put the eyeball in the centre like that and then I'm just going to put the brain on the outside like that and that is my body Halloween themed cake, be really careful because all these things are falling off. So I'm going to do that for the rest of them and then I'll show you what the outcome is. Here we are, they are all fully decorated. I don't know if you can see but I kind of went for a variety and they actually on this one here, as you can see, I had a few broken um, ones so instead of wasting them I put them on and I made them all very Halloween-y. So I'm now going to go and do a bit of a taste test. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it so much. And I hope you try out my recipe for my Halloween cupcakes. And you guys enjoy Halloween just as much as I do. Make sure you make them as ghoulish as you can. Because of course it's Halloween and it is all about the horror. I also just kind of want to say thank you so much for being here and watching my videos. I am on 200 and two subscribers and that is insane and I honestly wouldn't be here filming in my kitchen making Halloween cakes with my soft boxes and people wondering if I'm having some sort of LED light tan or something and I honestly love you guys so much and I'm so grateful for you guys watching my videos. Also, if you guys do try out my videos, make sure that you send me a link on Facebook or on Twitter or on Instagram so I can see them. I would love to see your turnouts. I'm sure they're much better than mine, but I will admit mine tastes fantastic. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you send in your video suggestions. Make sure you like me on Facebook, subscribe to me on Twitter and subscribe to me on Instagram. All the links in the description below and make sure you check out my eBay shop where you can see handmade chokers for £2. That is a bargain. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!